keep living the adventure. Axis of awesome. What's up, adventures? I have a really cool thing to share with you guys today. So, uh, Polaris Customs, who is actually Michael Maslin, great follower of the channel. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with him. Uh, Michael sent this to me a while back. It's this 24-hour ration pack for G.I. Joe or Action Man. And uh, I'm going to do a thorough review of this. Michael is probably going to get into making these for sale. And I think this is something a lot of you guys would probably like to have for your G.I. Joes or Action Men. So we'll pause the video and we'll come back and take a closer look at this 24-hour ration pack. All right, gang, welcome back. So a while back, uh, Michael Maslin up there in Canada uh, sent me this cool 24-hour ration pack. And uh, it's really, really cool. And he asked me to uh, do a review of it. I, I meant to do it for a while, but I've been busy. So today I've cut out some time to talk about this because I think it's a really cool item. So Michael has his own little uh, one six scale boutique company called Polaris Customs. And he makes uh, custom items for G.I. Joe and Action Man. He sent me a letter with this and he goes, uh, here is the ration pack uh, I promised. It's a 24 hour ration pack for Joe. It will keep him fed on his adventures. Uh, this is the first one I made, the prototype, and it's a complete set. The set is made from printed cards, uh, scored and folded, cut in places, then glued. The fun part was typing out the labels and sourcing all sorts of name brands and deciding what menus to include. Once I start assembling the rest, I will probably give the items a uh, mat of clear coat, probably to protect it. These literally, uh, let's see, do, 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 going through all of it, uh, yeah, that's about it. So this is this is what he sent. So we'll uh, we'll totally break this thing down. So when I first got it, I was really really impressed with the quality of the construction. Like Michael handmade all this, and uh, you can tell the attention to detail is like second to none. This is uh, really really cool, and uh, I think this is a dope thing to have, especially to put in like a pack if you're gonna do like a photo story and bust this thing out. I wish I would have had this when I did my um, Wild Man, a Cat Man Do photo story. I think it would have been cool. So, like I said, it's a 24-hour ration packs, a pack. He created the box. He did a really cool job on the front here. You can see he really, really took his time. The Action Man, we've got the uh, Union Jack at the bottom. Um, really, really cool. Great attention to detail. I'm sure Michael researched all this and uh, did all of it. So we'll open this thing up and you can see it comes with a few items. So the 24 hour ration pack, try to this package contains food for one person for 24 hours. You guys can read the rest of that. This is great. Really cool attention to detail. He came up with a cool instruction guide for the things that are included in this great that's really really neat let's see included a range card in there and then this is what the coolest thing about this whole this whole ration pack is all the items that he included and he made by hand um in this we're going to go through all these real quick let me grab a small item to take each one of these out so what an attention to detail on all these so you can see we've got sweetened condensed milk try to get these all focused in for you guys it's kind of hard because the font's so small sweetened condensed milk Black currant jam, gum, boiled and sweets, boiled sweets, salt, pepper, spoon. Wow, that's really cool. Man. And then he put on the back here accessories. Accessory pack contains 24 hour sun dries for 24 hour ration. Wow. I can't believe he made all these on a printer. So we'll go through all these real quick. Skim milk powder. 
In the bottom, he's got baked beans and tomato sauce, which is your uh, beans you would see in England, which I watched a Food Network show on that a long time ago, the difference between the English beans and ours. And then, of course, he's got, he's kind of get these porridge, soup, breakfast, drinks, chocolate bar, pudding, butter pack, bread pack, biscuits, fruit, biscuits brown, and biscuits chocolate. And then he has these two larger containers here. What are these? This is a main meal. Lamb curry with potatoes. Another main meal. Banger sausage and mashed potatoes. Wow, and then you can see main meal. On the back, you've got your heating instructions for both of these. Wow, this is actually a super cool item. I don't know how long it takes Michael to make these, but these are great. Um, I'm really impressed with this, man. I'm glad you sent this to me, Michael. I'm sorry I didn't haven't got around to reviewing this, but that's what we're doing today. What a cool ration pack. So I, I displayed it true to form with my one of my only action men soldiers, as you saw in the intro video. But this is a really, really cool item. Um, the measurements of the box proper, let's go ahead and measure this up so you guys can have an idea of the the size of this box. Let me get it back together here real quick. What's up with you Canadian guys being so awesome at paper craft? You and Randall Wall, my gosh. So it's about an inch and a half. I'm not going to do it metric, guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's about an inch and a half uh, wide, about an inch, a little less than an inch and a half, about an inch and three eighths long. And the depth is about seven eighths of an inch. So that's about the size of this. This would be perfect for a GI Joe pack. If you have a larger GI Joe pack, it would go in there with a lot of your other gear. But I think this is really, really awesome. The 24 hour ration pack by Polaris Customs and Michael Maslin. Um, I will put Michael's email address in the description of this video. If you guys are interested in these, you might reach out to him. I know Michael has, has he's on the uh, he's on the up and up from some uh, health issues he's had the last several years he's been dealing with, but I know right now I think he's doing pretty well, and uh, he was interested in probably making some of these for people if they're interested in buying some. Um, I'm not sure what his uh, MSRP or anything was going to be for these, but I really think it's something that's really cool, and I think. If you guys are interested in having something like this, I would grab something like this for my uh, for my GI Joe. I think it's a really neat thing. This is almost like something Cotswold might carry, uh, as far as like a a prop for your figures. But uh, I really think this is awesome. And I'm sure if you uh, messaged Michael in one of one of these, he could probably make an adventure team one um, or any other style with the front label. So it's just a matter of him changing the printer settings. Very impressive. Very impressive piece of work, Michael. I think this is great. I applaud you on your detail. I don't think I could create something that small and make it look as well as you did. And uh, bravo to you, sir. It looks great. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I think it's a cool item by Polaris Customs. Definitely check this out if you're interested in this. I'll put Michael's email in the description below and reach out to him and ask him if he'd be interested in maybe making a few of these for you. I think it's something every uh, G.I. Joe adventure or Action Man adventure should have in their collection. I hope you guys are doing great out there. Uh, fall's almost here. I am trying to get back into the swing of things, try to remotivate myself. Uh, it's not going as well as what I wanted it to, but uh, I'm trying. But uh, that's all we can say right now. I'm trying. In the meantime, guys, keep living the adventure and cheers.